Well, let's end, sort of, kind of, on this uh, humdinger of all labels. I don't know why they, this is crazy, idiotic, but this is the way it is. Tazasef. Notice, well, you have the one gram bottle. That could matter. Well, in this case, it does. Look at this label. Goodness gracious alive. First of all, notice these two things right here. Let me explain it. This says, if I give it this way, intramuscular or intravenous direct bolus injection, whatever that means, or if I do this, that's for intravenous infusion. What this means, intravenous infusion, that means I'm giving an IV and it's dripping into the patient very, very slowly. This option, of course, intramuscular, I'm sticking the person with a needle, or intravenous direct bolus, that means I'm, I've got a syringe and I'm putting this not into the bag of IV fluid, I'm putting this into the IV line and it's going into the patient really quickly. So these two options, IM and the intravenous direct bolus injection, that means the medication gets into the patient's body quickly. This intravenous infusion means it's dripping into the patient very slowly. So I need to know ahead of time which of these two options I'm doing. I've got to know how I'm giving it. Another, though, of these options is the fact I've got the one gram bottle. Well, here, if I pick this option with the one gram bottle, I do it one way. If I had the two gram bottle, which I don't, but if I did, I do it a different way. See, this label is just the craziest thing in the world. Let's do several what if ifs here. What if I'm giving this intramuscularly? Well, I've got the one gram bottle. So how much do I add? Right here, see, do you want to be added? I add three milliliters. There we go, I add that much. This, all that tells is approximate available. Well, that's how much is in the bottle after I mix it up. I don't need that number. I need this. What's the average concentration? Well, I have 280 milligrams per milliliter. Notice, by the way, they put a little L. Ooh, I slapped their wrist. Not supposed to use little L, big L. Okay, so even the drug label did it wrong. You know how to do it right, though. So what numbers do I need? Knowing I've got the one gram bottle, and knowing I'm going to give it intramuscularly, the one gram bottle, I add three milliliters of diluent, and that's the number I use in my doses calculation. I've got 280 milligrams per milliliter. But what if I were doing it with an intravenous infusion? Well, knowing that it's the one gram bottle, I've got two options. I've got the one gram bottle, the two gram bottle. I've got the one gram bottle. So I'll be using the one gram bottle. I'm going to add 10 milliliters of diluent to the one gram bottle. And over here, how strong is it? 95 milligrams per milliliter. That's the number, 95. That's the number I use in the dosage calculation problem. So I hope you see what's going on here. And I think that covers a wide variety of weird labels. Maybe you'll be able to do some of these.